So what happens when you say yes to your wife at Chinese New Year? You get dressed up in a in a Chinese Han Dynasty outfit, and uh, Xinhua News is going to be doing a, a thing. Oh, boy, it's hot because I got my clothes on underneath this. But uh, I'm just waiting to get my makeup, <laughs> yeah, makeup and hair done. Oh, and little cap type thing. So uh, this today has turned into something a little bit weirder than I had thought. But hey, it's just another day in the life of Guilao 60 in southern Guangxi Autonomous Region, Nanning City. So let's get back to makeup and, and hair. Oh, the China haters are going to have fun with this one. They can dress me up like a Chinese person, but they can't take my beer away from me. No siree. Actually, now what are we going to do? See, see what happens, see what happens when, oh look at this pretty little young lady. Hi eh? everybody. Wow. See, I, I think I married up. You're looking hot. Thank you. You want to go, go pull around? Yeah. Okay, let's go pull around. <laughs> see, what, see what happens at Chinese New Year? You you end up doing some really weird things. And I'm, uh, I'm, I'm guaranteeing that there's going to be a lot of cell phones in Nanning City with Wei Feng and my picture on them tomorrow morning. And uh, yes, we're here with Sinwa News today. And uh, they're sort of doing a, a little piece about the Chinese New Year and what a foreigner thinks of... Uh, of the New Year in China. We've been uh, in China, I think, seven years at New Year's. We, we missed last year because we were down in Thailand. But uh, I'm always amazed at how much fun everybody has here in mainland China. Just just doing the, the Chinese New Year, the feast, uh, getting out and about. Everybody gets like, uh, what, seven days off? Yeah, seven days off. Oh, you can smell it, so tofu. Oh, that's just rank stuff. But some people say they like it. But you, you, you end up in a place like this. This dates back to either the Ming or the Song Dynasty. Uh, this is a sort of an ancient area of, of Nanning. And uh, a lot of the buildings were torn down and, and reduplicated into what you see behind me. But there are so, still some, some uh, of the older houses. And uh, maybe I'll get some pictures of those later. But the idea, the idea that uh, Nanning would take it upon themselves to build something like this. We're in a temple here today. We get dressed up like uh, like somebody from the. This is hand clothing. I, I would imagine. Uh, you think if you think oh the China haters are gonna love this. I mean, I, seriously, I'll, I'll I'll be over all, all over some uh, China hater uh, YouTube channels and stuff like that. But you know what? I really don't care. Is that a beer? This one here, this is a French beer. This one tastes like it's got berries in it or something. It's pretty damn good. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting the stares from everybody. I should have done a live stream doing this. Oh man, I guess I, I guess I screwed up. But uh, hey, it is what it is. Everybody having a good laugh? Yeah, well. If you're in Saskatchewan or Alberta, and it's 40 frickin' below, and it's 27 degrees here. You guys can laugh your asses off while you're trying to stay warm. Okay, how come you've got me dressed in a dress? Like, seriously, look at this. Chinese tradition. You got me in a dress. Yeah, yes, so we, 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 today we go back to... Um, you like my hat? Uh, Song Dynasty. The Song Dynasty or the Ming yeah. Dynasty? Song. Is this Han traditional uh, clothing? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so your great great grandfather dressed Maybe like this? More quick, 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 quick. Yes. Do you think he used to have the beer in his hand? No. No? Well, no. I am getting so many weird stares from so many people, guys. Like, seriously, look at these people over here. And they're going, the hell you do, boy? It sounds like my dad. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, it's one of those things that uh, when in Rome, dress like a Roman. When in China, put on a dress. That's okay. <laughs> For Chinese New Year, it's a, bit, it's a holiday. It is a holiday. Yeah. Oh, in just a second. Let's stop for a second. Still looking for a beer sponsor. If you're out there, Cronenberg, if you're from France, and you want a Guilao to promote your beer in China, I'm your man. I'm your man in a dress. 
Well, it's the fourth day of the new year, the year of the ox here in Nanning, Guangxi Autonomous Region, China. And uh, yes, um, we're dressed up in traditional clothing. Why? Because Wei Fong made me. <laughs> so he's, he's cute though. It's cute, yeah. You see, you get into the festive, uh, uh, festivities of the Chinese New Year of the Ox. And we're in an ancient town here in Nanning. Uh, okay, yeah. she knows what it is. Yeah. You know, they've got temples, they've got museums, they've got uh, uh, just like restaurants and all of the things that sort of bring the tourists to this this part of the city. And it's neat to see. You get the, the, the people taking pictures. Look at this pretty thing. My goodness, you know what I mean? Um, they get Gui Lao dressed in a dress. You and know what also, I mean? also, you see uh, in the camera, also see, this is like a wish wall. A wish tree. A wish tree. Yeah. And, uh, and they people, put people put something you wish for the New Year's comes and what do you want to wish for the thing and put on the tree and hopefully next year to get, this year get everything you wish for. Exactly. So, you know, coming out of uh, 2020 with the COVID like it was and uh, the, the Chinese people dealt with it properly. So you notice that we're walking through this area with no mask on. Nanning is a low risk area for COVID. We had one case and 860,000 people got tested for COVID for, for, for that one case. So we really have no worries about COVID here in Nanning because the people in the government took care of that before it was a big problem here. Uh, everybody wore masks. Yeah. Uh, I've been tested and Wei Fong has been tested seven times for COVID in the last, I don't know, four or five months. Yeah. You know, things like that. That they, they got a handle on it here rather than in the West where they just really don't have a handle on it. And, uh, you know, short time pain for long time gain is, I guess, the moral of the story that uh, the Chinese people took it upon themselves to make sure that this was done properly. The Chinese government took it upon themselves to make sure that this was done properly so the Chinese people can get out and do their New Year celebration. See? The Year that, of the Ox. See? And this is That's one why. of the places. Well, just a second. Sorry, mm -hmm. Wei Fong. That's okay. But this is one of the places. This is one of the, the original houses that date back into the Ming or the Song Dynasty. This stuff is old, old, old. Uh, and actually, this this The building, richest guy yeah, in Nanning used yes, to live here. Yes, this, this richest guy lived in here. But you see, uh, this area was one of the rich areas of Nanning back in the day, just for the fact that uh, this is where all of the, the, the jewelry was made. Gold and silver was being sold here. And the richest guy in Nanning, what did he do? He sold gold and silver. Yes. Yeah, so, you know, when you, when you get stuff like that, uh, you're, you're making money, right? Yeah, of course. There's a lot of people watching us, Wei Fong. Why do you think that is? Could it be the outfit? Because the outfit is Gui Lao wears Chinese style. Gui Lao wears Chinese style. Oh, I'm going to take this one on the chin, guys. There's nothing I can do about it. Okay, it's very good. I well, like it. Actually, I, uh, I'm feeling feeling my feminine inside because I'm wearing a dress. <laughs> uh, there's nothing the matter with that. The older you get, the, the, the less it really matters. It's one of those things. And uh, I'm starting to get into the festivities. Baijo. That's, a, those, that's Baijo there. Oh, they've got, and the, you know, this area is, is known for the food, uh, the, the culture. Downtown Nanning City, Guangxi Autonomous Region. You know, Nanning is a, is a, the capital city of uh, of Guangxi Autonomous Region. I've been coming here for about 18 years, and it never ceases to amaze me. After I think seven years doing uh, Chinese New Year here, every year yeah. seems to be a little bit different. There seems to be a little bit more to do, and uh, it's 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 exciting actually. All of the but different things that you see. One thing is. Always, it is, is in China in the uh, spring festival, right? Yeah. It's a happy, happy days and make friends together and, and with family together and that's very important. We, we've been to, we've been to uh, two barbecues and beer fests here in the last three days. You gotta love that. You know Gui Lao, he likes that stuff. There is some loud music, there is some, uh, some craziness here, 
But the people in China at this time of the year have nothing but fun. Family, uh, friends, feast, eating, <laughs> uh, way more than they probably should. And uh, just having a great time. So this is, you know, this is the best holiday of the year. Uh, this is the most sought-after holiday of the year. This is Chinese New Year Spring Festival. You gotta love it. And the Chinese people, they uh, they love their country. They love their their holidays. And this is just one of them. And did I did I mention Guila was gonna dress? <laughs> you know, I started this video here in this temple about, I don't know, three, four hours ago. And after getting dressed up and going through a bunch of stuff today, I probably know more about the, the Chinese New Year than I, than I ever knew before. And it's one of those things that uh, it gets more interesting every year I do it. I'm, uh, and you know what? It's all due to this little girl here. She teaches me everything Chinese because although she's young, she still understands the traditional Chinese ways. And that's another video from Guilao Six Yan. If you like this video, as always, like, comment, subscribe. Push that share button. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to resubscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell. And whatever you do, don't forget to put a couple bucks in the children's Patreon account. It's for a good cause. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, everybody. Sin Kuai La. Bye now. There we go. So if you if you were wondering what Guido wore under his dress, now you know. Eh? He's got his pants as I like. It's just easy. Buying beer is just that easy here in China. See? The WeChat, the WeChat does it for you. You don't have to do anything except for smile and drink.